So in this stock, I lost uh, 4.65%. So let us see first, why did I buy this stock? Where did I buy? Where did I sell? Things like that. So this yellow line is my buy price. I bought on this day, which is 4th of July. The red line is my stop loss, which is 8% below the yellow line. And this blue line is my mental stop loss. I will explain what a mental stop loss is. Okay. First, let us look at why I bought this stock in the first place. So let me add the moving averages. So blue, green, red, the 50 day moving average, 150 day moving average, and the 200 day moving average. As long as I have this blue, green, red combination, I am interested in the stock. So this is a strong uptrending stage two stock. Okay, that is one reason I bought the stock. The second reason is, see, it has started consolidating from here. So if I draw the uh, consolidations, see how it looks. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, then you have 0.3. I am just joining the extremes, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and 0 0.6. Okay, so there are six points in the base. That means there are three contractions in the base. Okay, every contraction is smaller than the previous contraction. So this downfall is a contraction. This is another contraction. This is another contraction. Okay, every contraction is smaller than the previous one. So this is contraction in price. Okay, so you have price contraction. You have more than four points in the base. You have three contractions, more than 10 candles in the base because 10 candles means two weeks of consolidation, plus it's a strong uptrending stage two stock. That is why I placed the buy order at 0 0.5, which is the yellow line. And 0 0.6 is, that is what I call my mental stop loss. I expect the stock to break out from here and continue to remain above that yellow line and preferably above this blue line as well, because if it falls below 0.6, that means the setup is failing, right? That is why I drew a line there, which is the blue line. That's my mental stop loss. If the price closes below that blue line on a particular day, that is my sell signal. I will not wait for the stock to come to my 8% stop loss, which is the red line. This is a strategy to uh, limit losses, okay? If I am able to limit my losses to 4% rather than 8%, then I can use more of my profits to take more of trades in the future. For example, if I, if I book 16% profit on a stock, which I did recently on Chennai Petro, I booked 16%. Now with 16%, I can finance two trades, okay? With 8% stop loss. But imagine if I'm booking on an average 4% loss on every losing position. Well, now I am financing four trades with the same profit, right? So it is very important to limit losses. So yellow line is the buy price. 4th of July is the buying date. Blue line is the mental stop loss. Red line is the real stop loss. So I remove these contractions. See, it goes up. Then next to three days, I don't sell because it continues to remain above the blue line. Plus the volume is low. That means institutions are not selling. Finally, on this day, it closes below the blue line. So just two minutes before the close of the candle, I sell out. Okay. And I sell all my shares. So I book this four point. This is 4 4.6, 4.65% roughly. 4.65% loss on this position, okay? Now, what mistake happened here? There's no mistake as such. See, the stock is, actually I was right selling here, otherwise I would have booked 8% loss. Actually, the stock continues to remain as a stage two stock. There is nothing wrong with the stock. The only thing I missed out is, see, you look at this, you look at the height of the base. It is beyond 40%. Okay, it has given away a lot of gains. So any base which is more than 40%, I should not be buying that stock. Okay, number one. Number two, even if I buy the stock, then 
majority of the price action should be in the upper quarter just before i am buying the stock see here since it is 40% and there are a lot of shake outs in the base see this low was taken out 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 these are called shake outs in the base so when there are shake outs in the base i want to see good consolidation in the uppermost quarter of the base i have divided the base into four different parts but here if you see just before the breakout candle mostly there are red candles in the upper quarter of the base and this is not a proper consolidation the price goes up in the upper quarter and then comes down falls back into the second quarter that is not what, what i expect i expect the price to go up from here go in the shaded area consolidate there go up and down but within the shaded area most of the candles should close in that shaded area and they should be small candles not big candles like this okay and that did not happen in this stock and that is something which i missed i should have paid, paid more attention i should have taken a small position size but that's it i took a 2.5% position size here and 4.65% stop loss so not a big loss on a portfolio level but still a loss which eats away from your profits so i hope you learned from this trade i hope you will not take a trade where the height of the base itself is more than 40% thank you so much